The Quarantine Cup is of course brought to you by Nikijo Collectibles. Enter code NOLAN5 at checkout for 5% off sealed and singles on the site. Um, I personally picked up my case of Burst of Destiny for I believe it was $1,070 after entering code NOLAN5 at checkout. They do do more than just sealed though, they do do singles. Honestly, probably the most competitive prices on the market for everything at launch. Uh, they do also have a little bit of a back catalogue going on with some alternate rares and secret rares that they're updating all the time, so do check them out. And of course, entering code NOLAN5 at checkout makes it all the cheaper. But let's get on into the video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Nolan TCG and we are here for the final match of top four. I am here with Logan. Baboy, 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 baboy. And uh, we are here for Josh, of course, the first seed playing Salamane Great, and uh, Lachlan, the person who made top eight coming through the playing game. Um, I'm not sure what he's playing. I actually have, no, I have his list. Let's just go and have a look at it. Ah, uh, it is Gren Marju. Okay, man has decided Gren Marju is his top eight list. Quite interesting. You chose poorly. I, I, do you know what movie that reference is from? Isn't it the um like Holy Grail? <clears throat> That's what is being chosen. Yeah, but isn't that what the movie's called? No. Holy, isn't it like Search for the Holy Grail or something? No. One sec. <laughs> you may it's gotta go Google it. Ah. Uh. Well, viewers, comment down below if you know what uh what movie that reference that he made is from. Is... Uh, Logan does not know what movie I, I was from. kind of I did. Uh, here's why. I was half right. No, you Cause, weren't. Because it's like The Last Crusade or something, right? From Indiana Jones? Yes, from the Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. You said so it was I from thought... Monty Python. Yeah, no, you're right. You got me there. <laughs> yep, I know. Yeah. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Ben's doing commentary solo. Uh, maybe towards the end of this match, depending on how long this match goes well, for. True. Very true. Why wait till then? Let's start now. There is one of the, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven kaijus, eight, nine kaijus main decked by Lockman comes down on the Sunlight Wolf, turning off the counter trap. But an Ash Blossom will still meet it on the Desires. Will we see the normal summon of a Grenmarju after the summon of a Gizmek? <laughs> nope, a Gold Sock. For a Necroface, surely. I can't wait to activate Necro uh, to activate Gold Sock and banish my birdie voice. Might even take one copy of Necroface. Do you really need to play Necroface in that? No, you just you play you just banish a bird, because then it um but you add the bird to hand when you normal summon another one, and it stops Ash. <laughs> Mystic Mind Pass. Curious. The Amma Seal goes to the defense position, and we move. What was in... So we went from Buffalo... I'm unsure as to what Josh had in his hand. Trade in for Gizmek. Man, I really hope Bok gets, like, 2 would very quickly. <laughs> well, given that he's sitting under the Mystic Mine, they are it. Well, because it's going to be 2-0, it just won't be quick. It makes me sad. This is valid. This is a lot of thinking for a man under Mystic Mine. <laughs> Let's see, how do I out my own Mystic Mind? Does Josh have the Phoenix Wind Wind Blast? He could have Rage. Like, if he can just summon, make a Link, and then, like, a Rage pop it. You can also just Rage discard. True. It's typically, how the deck outs Mystic Mind, it's just Rage discard. Let's go. That's, that's what he was digging for at Locals when he was birthing me. But he did not get there before I won. Necroface now in hand. 
the uh, bloody gold sock has lasted long enough to. Yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> oh, a cosmic. One of the three mandate cosmics in the 60 card list. Man, I hope Josh, like. I do this sucks. I don't want Lachlan to win, but I don't want Josh to win either. This is a valid feelings to have. Josh shuffles his hand before setting a card. Now we wait as we pass turn. Mystic line is thrilling. Now, Ben, yep. for, for the young men watching your content who are struggling with their self esteem, yep. and they're like, they want to go out with a girl, but they don't know what to do on a first date, what's your first date advice? Where the fuck is this coming from? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I've got nothing else to add. <laughs> I have nothing else to talk about. Well, it's because you want advice for when you're being a good Christian. So I'm not coming to you for that. <laughs> exactly. Yet so here I'm we for, are. So I'm asking for all the other people who apparently care about your content. What you want to do is you want to make sure you have your best yarmulke. <laughs> I knew this was going to go joke. <laughs> Guys, the joke is that Ben's Jewish. Yeah, we should probably, you know, highlight that. Yeah, as to a... not make it seem like we're going the opposite way with that joke. Yeah, no, Ben is Jewish. Not probably Jewish. Well, yeah, true. Exactly. But you are Jewish. Of descent. Yeah. I do need to point out something. The uh, I've never looked at the Salamander Great Monster in the middle of our uh, sanctuary. He's pulling his best jacked pose. Which, which Salamander Great Monster is it? Uh, I think it's Link Three. Paleo. That makes sense. I honestly don't know which one the Link Three is anymore. I've just put it out of my brain. It's it is, Helio. It's definitely Helio. Yeah. This is the hard. I really don't like Mystic Mind matchups, he's really dull. <laughs> Which is why we maybe hit the fast forward button over here. <laughs> Let's go. We're just seeing a couple of discards. Oh god, this was going on forever. This gives me some Oh, it's been outed. It's been outed. Here we go. How did he out it? Uh, yeah. Gizmic pop? He Gizmic summoned itself an end phase, and I think he Gizmic popped it. Um, That's... So now we're going into the Heretic Sun Dragon. Holy shit, that's actually really good after mine. You just discard like five cards and pop everything. Yeah, it's gonna that be very is, big. That is pretty strong. This card's been getting played in OCG Dragon Maid lists, and I'm like, I see it. But it seems very niche as to when this comes it. up. <laughs> to be fair, Dragon Maid is pretty niche with deck. Well, like, it's rare that you'll have both level 8s on the field. What the heck are you doing? Like, getting faithless. It yeah. tributes. Does it not? Does it tribute it? Where, where did it go? Um, no, it detaches its cost. Mm, yeah, okay. That's a lot of hand knowledge that they have then given away. Classic Josh, waiting to see what he discarded. And we got another Gizmic coming. Wait, I thought Gizmic Pop's been used. Has the Gizmic Pop not been used this turn to add the Mystic Mine? Yeah, but you can still summon it. No, it's one effect only. You can only use one Gizmic for this turn. Yeah, damn. Okay, well, big chat. Yeah, it's. You can use the Pop or the Summon. Maybe it wasn't. That's the way it was. Out. Oh no, he would have Gizmic summoned back in end phase and would have popped itself. Uh, yes, it makes sense, it makes okay. sense, it makes sense. And then he slapped down the kaiju, overlaid the kaiju into the heretic. Now we've got the a mind control. Heretic. 
of the gummy. Bruh, second heretic, let's go. No, by the looks of things... Oh, well, given that this is a rank 8 turbo deck, this could be a lot. There's Lancelots, there's the other heretic dragon. Uh, we could see a <laughs> Sanifond, a Hope Harbinger. I think Sanifond would be pretty huge against some Yeah. We'll also see the Dragubli on play. Nope, we're going to see a Dingisu. One thing I didn't expect. Going to send Forbidden Chalice. Expect the unexpected, Ben. But why, though? Well, no, we have the Pain Gainer. This is going to go into Seven Sins and get quite big. I always thought this card has some kind of like hideously bad restriction on it, but I just I don't think it does. Like I thought, the seven deadly sins. Yeah, it's, it's, do. it doesn't have like a horrifically bad restriction. What it do? It's not game. Um, so it's if someone this way, the falling card effect can only be activated once per turn. Once per turn, you can detach two materials from this card, banish all special summon monsters your opponent controls. And That's attach one of those banished monsters to the start as an XYZ material. Uh, if this face-up card will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach one XYZ material from this card instead. This is game, right? Uh, that's a big, beefy that's eater a... of millions. Yeah, this is definitely game. 36 plus 7. No, oh, that's the... Uh, that's just face downs. So, 36. Yeah, this is definitely game. Will we see rage? This well... card? I still don't know if I'm happy about Josh losing this thing. And a normal sum of Maju. This what? is getting pretty big. This still has a game. And a monster reborn. Nabir. 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 Uh, Josh is main decking Nabir. Please get punished. Please. We could definitely see one of the biggest Nabir tokens ever. Please. Oh, oh, there yes! it is! Yes! There it is! We got so fucking punished! Yes! It what a monkey! The biggest <laughs> Nibiru tokens you will ever see. He had game after this. Oh my gosh. Like. I think he, he had committed five he gets, summons to get he gets the, the Yeah, but he, like, then he doesn't waste a reborn and a Marju. Why did you use all your resources? To be fair, he goes Heretic Dragon. Um. He could have gotten. He could have gotten game in. Four summons. Uh, no, you would have needed to remove... Uh, no, the fifth summon was to remove the... Kaiju. So. Sure, but even then, like... You still have a Reborn... And then the Grand Maju... After the Nibiru hits, and you're still in main phase. Yes. And then you win anyway. He just monkeyed it. He monkey brained. And now he loses. Now the Buffalo with the Gazelle in hand... This is this token is gigantic. But I'm sure there is a way to add it. There is probably it's a rage it's set. It's only access code just pop it. He needs to get to that access code line. Oh he's got the Nibiru, I guess. That should get in there. And there's Gazelle. If he can do the whole access code line and still have the Nibiru, that'd be pretty pog. Surely he's got the ability to do it with all the cards that he's got at hand. Interested as to why we just saw the set of the Salomon Great Circle. Gazelle does not do that. No, it's Gazelle's secret text, mate. Just like Ring Dragon Aurora. Ah, yes. You need to read the, uh... The secret text. The secret text that only Josh can read on Gazelle that lets you set the cards from Graveyard. It says particularly, if you send Circle, set Circle. No, that circle's been there for ages, so it's if you summon Salamander Great Gazelle, you can send one from deck to grave and set circle. <laughs> It'd be laugh well, hilarious if we just like hadn't read circle and circle actually says you can set it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't, yeah, of course it doesn't. Now, mining. 
Just kill him. He's, he's got desires. Yeah, this is very bad. Fast oh, forward salad combo. Foxy. We're in a limited time here, Ben. <laughs> yeah, we are in a limited time. This is going to be an access code play. Sunlight, summon back the Foxy. Get in the gazelle. Get, goes into heat, Leo. And then yeah, that gets in there. I feel like that was suboptimal. Oh, he's got Will. Okay. He's got Will. It doesn't fucking okay. matter. He's got Will. Uh... Cool. Gizmek block. He's just going to pop the Gizmek. Does he have enough? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's going to have to do other plays. The Heat Leo. There's only 5 3 damage. Also, some Necroface impermanence game. <laughs> oh, wait, there's not much here, surely. Okay, so we are seeing Josh going second again into the 60 cards. Uh, 60 cards, sideboard. A little, little bit of spell and trap removal, and then all floodgates. So those floodgates haven't come in. We have the draw face circle. Uh, it's okay, Josh. There is no draw or lock bird being played, so you don't have to stress about that. And now we're going to see a standard salad combo. So uh, let's just fast forward through this. <laughs> Sending raw goes into a stallio, gets Jack into that, goes in sanctuary, sets, gets back the circle. Jack Jaguar effect, puts back the Sunlight Wolf, gets the out of the Gazelle back. Into the Bailings, set four. Combo, Couldn't be baby. more standard Salamine Great. There's definitely a different dimension ground set on that board. Probably being backed up with the Rage and the Raw and the Impermanence for a diverse range of a back row. Is it CDG in this matchup? Do you slide that in here? No, uh, I would get rid of the danger issue, I guess. Um, sure, but, but then you're filling up the Banish Zone. Well, then, if you have the impermanence, then you're just playing around. You just impermanence the Maju. Ah, yeah, the old two card combo. You just let them play. Along with like... your other two card combos. <laughs> oh! That, that beats a rage. <laughs> that beats a raw. Raw, that's the one. Raw. I have rage open on the other screen at the moment. Cosmic. Why are you cosmic? I'm trying to clear as much of the back row as possible. Circle. Ah, uh, because it removes the circle from the game. I feel like he was cosmic. So another what? cosmic. What? So Foxy getting added. Cosmic on another back row. It's an impermanence. But under three cards in hand, can they be go cards? That's Desires a one. into an ash. Calling it. Nope, we're no. resolved. Yeah, I can four cards play. Well, you know he doesn't have ash. How many of these cards are just not bricks? Considering he's playing trade in, he's playing trade in Kaiju Slumber, Malian, of course. Um, we've almost certainly the Twin Twisters and the Lightning Storms have all come into the main deck. Uh, then we've seen, you can see Stromberg, Circles, of course, banished. Uh, you could have. There's a lot of garnets that you could have drawn into. <laughs> There is, of course, kaijus, but they don't really matter at this point. The negation's been baited. Um, you could have drawn shifters that now can't be activated. Uh, there's, of course, the necrofaces that don't really do anything. I feel like there's a lot he could draw here. He's taking a long time to think. That next play button is looking mighty it's, fine. It's a pank. That doesn't do enough. That's not enough. It's going to activate on that back row. It's another impermanence. Another impermanence. To be fair, if he's got some starter cards in now, he might be ready to go here. I know one card in hand is Foxy. There's a Gamma Seal. It's not, it's not done enough? Yeah, What's the add? not really useful. I guess then that forces the Stalio bounce. Okay. But, but they have two cards to play against. Oh, what? And the Kaiju Slumber. This is okay. not good. That is now one card to play through this board. Yeah, that's the way Josh Also, the Bailinx just protects. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Does Kaiju Slumber Bailinx. fail to resolve? No. Just play as many as possible. That's just awful. Why would you even activate the. What? Surely the Bailinx gets banished here. 
Surely he was just gonna activate oh, no. that before. Josh just let them go. I guess so. It doesn't matter, right? Like... Oh, because Gazelle can marry us all. Oh. So yeah, it's Gazelle. It's Gazelle Foxy in hand. We should have known that all along. There was never an Ash. Um. Now, what is the fourth card in hand? What is that fourth card, Mardy? It does nothing. It's not game. It's a gold castle, though. That's decent. Does that do anything, though? Uh, it gets him to a rank 8. Okay. Alright, because it's not textured. So that... I don't know. Well, he, if he goes rank 8, kill both monsters, goes to the Cephalon, that could be alright. I will let you know. It sounds like you're in a fishbowl now. You're in a fishbowl now? Yeah, I'm half out of the fishbowl now. Yeah, I'm out of the fishbowl? Half out of the fishbowl. Am I out of the fishbowl? Now you're out of the fishbowl. I feel like I could be in the fishbowl. Now you're half back in the fishbowl. Fishbowl! Now I want to play the the Stealth Kragen deck. So I'm assuming we've seen the attempted pop of the Gazelle there. Phalanx is banished to protect that. I'm going to see the ding. This just isn't enough. The thing on the sanctuary, actually, the sanctuary would slow him, but he has access to like every Salamangrate card next turn. Like he can summon the Spinny, the Jaguar, the Falco. He has the Foxy in hand. Yeah, one hundred percent more correctly, a Cephalon, surely. Sorry, it was one hundred percent more correctly a Cephalon, and like locked his graveyard. Are you, like, drinking and then just talking into the cup? No. Okay. Yeah. So now we have a, just a seven deadly sins. Ah, Zeus. Ah, yes. I forgot about Zeus. That card is good, actually. <laughs> oh, man, he's just going to top deck like, fucking the third impermanence or some shit. Show it. That's oh, a boxy. Well, he surely doesn't use the Foxy effect, because then he can out the Stromberg with the Foxy. So we're into the Bay Links. No field spell to add, of course. Surely we see the Jack Jaguar now. It's back. Interesting it didn't put back the Stelio. And Jack Jaguar touches back on board. That other card in hand is a Salamangrate card. We could see... Oh no, we... Yeah, no. So now he goes into that Stalio. Oh, into that Sunlight Wolf. Then get back the spinny, triggering the Sunlight Wolf. Oh, there's a Zeus. Sees it coming. Now the Shrongberg has been outed. Can we pull the one on this? Just two? Can't hear a single thing you're saying. How many materials are lost on the zoo? Just two? Just two. Just two. I don't know why I'm in the fishbowl. I haven't moved at all. It seems like you're like moving a lot. <laughs> That's not what's happening though. I'm still. Now you sound perfectly clear. I'm perfectly still. Zeus going to attack position. Will it make another Zeus? Battle fader. Battle fader. I wonder if the fly that's decided to go into... The studio has a uh, just shown up on the microphone because so I did not close the door. Oh, Buffalo baby! <laughs> if what you a draw. Imagine if Zeus is there and the buffalo just triggers anyway. That would make my day. I'd laugh so hard. Into the Lingaribo. Oh, this Zeus does Jack trigger. Jack you are. So now two more cards to out a Zeus with. Is Josh not playing three bailing, or is he already burned through? Oh, okay, we're just seeing a pass. Okay, sure. Uh-oh. Two bailings are engraved. Um, 
Yeah, he's out of Malinx. He needs a will. Lancia. Yeah, he is not bad. Attacking over Ling. He has one turn to find an answer. Setting one. Passing. It could be a macrocosmos. Ash the macrocosmos. <laughs> He's gonna try and play here. Alright, spinny. Another spinny? There is a macrocosmos. A macro. Ash it! Ash it! <laughs> nope, we're going to game three. Sighting is in progress. What time do you need to go? Do you need to go like now? Uh, we have six minutes. Okay. That fast, that fast forward button's looking mighty fine. We go. Josh going second, choosing to go second. Curious. A yeah, lot of floodgates there. could be coming in here from Lachlan. Sure, sure. Oh, set two floodgates into a lightning Yo! storm. Oh boy. Bro, this game is so much more interesting when we click fast forward. Yeah. Fast forward <laughs> time. Oh, only a set one there though. Whoa. Gizmo touching down an end phase. Lancia, Lancia. ends the turn. Gizmo attack. Lightning, Lightning Storm! storm. Desire, baby! <laughs> Draws into Sign of the Mining Gazelle. Oh, there's a salad combo! <laughs> Not a full Classic salad combo. Salad. Oh, oh. Mind control. Ah! Oh! Pentastag. Oh. Why pen What? Oh, boy. oh shit, is this game? Impermanence, oh. though! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Imagine. I was like, oh, boy. Oh, I was like, wait, hang on a second. <laughs> a piercing Pentastag. And then a. Red Marju just drops. Right, this isn't... Was... My heart raced for a second then. This is gonna make a Buster Blader link? Probably, yeah. Yep, there is a Buster Blader. But there's no more resources. Let's see what Josh has. It's normal summon flame buffalo. We oh, go spinny, you. draw two, spinny yeah. comes back <laughs> again, splash me. This is it. Yep, access code. This, this is um Attack over access code. Kills. Lots of banishing happening. Some of the Gizmech. Gizmek gets Valen, banishes three. Jack Jaguar, attack access code. Blocks with a Gizmek, attack with access code. Jack Jaguar, 18. Gamma Seal coming through. Lightning Storm. Oh, another Lightning Storm from Josh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Gizmek, Gamma Seal, attacks over. We just have the Jack Jaguar here. Multiple, just set and passes here. This is a fucking incredible game. Holy shit. Will. Oh, Will. Will. What a Will. god. What a god. <laughs> Will. <laughs> How did we not see Will being the deciding factor in this game? Will reducing the Gizmek to zero from the effect, Valor. It is, yes, zero. Uh, oh, no. Attacking through. Wait, why do you go to 600? Calculations have happened. That's game. Is it? Oh, what a game three. <laughs> that was intense. We went from... Zero to no, 100, then back to zero, quick. back to 100. Uh, but Josh, moving on into the uh, the top four. The first seed beats the eighth seed and goes through. It should have been Jesse. 